What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video I wanted to bring you guys day four of my complexion week. So in today's video on this beautiful Thursday I am going to be showing you guys all of the kind of random bits and bobs in my collection. So I think I'm going to stick with like eyeliners, any glitter products, single shadows that are like not in my magnetic palettes, stuff like that. Just showing you guys the random bits and bobs that I think you guys may or may not be interested in. Um, I like everything else this month am pre-filming so there may be additions to these collections that I am not showing you guys today but you guys will see them at some point in some form of haul or whatever so don't worry. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. If you're interested in this look, I didn't record it basically because I used like three eyeshadows. Um, so if you're interested in what I used, I actually used my Revolution Pro Trends Mischief Mattes palette. I used this shade basically all over my lid and in my crease, this shade in my inner corner, and I topped that greeny shade off with my Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb Highlighter. On my lips, I mixed two liquid lipsticks, one from Nabla in the shade Narcotic, and the other one from Too Faced in the shade Evil Twin. And I think it actually did really well to kind of match with my eye look. I'm really liking this look. I have freckles on today. Everything is feeling froggy, looking good. Um, I think I'm going to do an aerial overview just because, like I said, I'm doing a lot of like singular products and you guys might not be able to see them from this far away and I do want to do swatches so you guys can see what I actually have in my collection on those fronts. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop talking. If there's anything that you guys want to know, check out down below, especially like face wise um, or I don't know if I've ever linked my wig, but I might try and link this wig and I will try to remember to link this shirt as well. This is one of the newer shirts that I picked up lately. Um, but that's it, so let's get into that aerial view. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to do my best to keep everything in focus, um, but do bear with me. So, these are all of the liquid shadows that are still in my collection. I don't have very many, and all of the ones that I have, I've kept for various reasons. I am just going to go ahead, this is going to be probably a rather long video, because I am going to go ahead and swatch certain things for you guys, so you guys can see what is going on with the product. Um, and yeah, we're just going to get right into it. So first let's talk about this Haas Laboratories um, eye situation and this is in the shade Glam Attack. This I tried um, and you guys have seen it on my eyes in a recent video um, and it is okay. The problem is that when you blend it out it is pretty pretty sheer and there's nothing really special about this liquid eyeshadow um so as of right now it's still in my collection and it is easy to blend out but this will probably find its way out just because there's nothing special about it and if i am going to take the time to use a liquid eyeshadow there needs to be something special about it so that is that this is from a limited edition wet and wild collaboration and this is in goth tears and i really like this because this is an iridescent um beautiful beautiful liquid shadow this looks like it is on time for it to be gone as well i guess i haven't gone through my liquid shadows in a minute um and it was a beautiful blue purple green duochrome or triochrome i guess or multichrome wow that um i think wow i think i might actually go ahead and get rid of some of these while i'm at it um I really didn't expect to do this. This is a highlighter from Stila and this is in the shade Admiral. I actually use this as an eyeshadow product. Um, and this is very similar to that Goth Tears shade. And as you can see, it's still working beautifully. It is newer. This is a purple to blue duochrome shade. I really do enjoy this shade and I enjoy Stila's formula. This is another Stila Glitter Glow. This is in Yellow Tails and this 
is outstanding. I know some people didn't really like this collection. Maybe it's my complexion and why it just works beautifully, but this looks really, really nice. It's a yellow flip. So it's like a white to yellow flip. I really, really like that shade and I do use that quite often. When I wanna do a one shadow liquid look, I will reach for this baby and this is Twig. There's nothing super fancy about this. It's a very smooth finish because this is not a glitter and glow, but it pretty much blends in with my skin if I really, really wanted to. So I really like it for that. And then purple is kind of a go-to shade for me. So I got this one and this was one of my very first ones actually. And this is in Violet Vixen. Ooh, this is starting to be at the end of the row which makes sense this is the first one i ever got um and this was a really beautiful beautiful purpley shade but i think i'm gonna go ahead and let this one go too wow i'm decluttering a lot um then i have sea siren which i think was the second oldest that i have in this particular collection from stila and this is a pink to blue duochrome really really pretty really like this one this one still has a little bit of life left so i am going to go ahead and keep her then i have one from bh cosmetics i actually think this is a really nice formula from them and this is in the shade gal pal and it's really really pretty so it is an orange base but there's definitely strong green and blue in this as well it's an outstandingly pretty um, shade and it's really nice and smooth not very many of my liquid shadows are actually glittery like I would like them to be but it's all good this is a metallic from Ult the Ulta brand and this is in raised on promises I really like these two that I got from the Ulta brand I think people are sleeping on this and I wish they came out with more shades but this is a really nice like burgundy um, merlot shade really really like this shade then we have the one matte liquid shadow that I still keep. I really, really like this shadow. And this is Scrunchy. And this is a mauve liquid shade. Hopefully you guys can see it right there. This with yellow tails in the inner corner. One of my favorite go-to kind of all liquid, <coughs> all liquid shadow um looks then i have two shadows from pixie one is in the shade pixie green and these can be opaque but i prefer to use these more as toppers and this is like a blue green with definitely some glitter in there i think it's a really really pretty shade and i'm really really happy to have it and then the other one that i got is a blue and this is in the shade lagoon And this is a really pretty as well. And this does have glitter in there too. Then I have two other random ones. One is from, I think this is the one from Catrice. Yeah, and this is a liquid metal. Um, and the shade is in Smart Mauve. I don't really reach for this very often, but this is a very, very smooth mauve shade. And it's like a gun metal with undertones of mauve so it's a really unique shade which is why i've kept this in my collection for so long and then the last one that i have is from maybelline it is a color tattoo and this is in the shade khaki cool and this is just a very unique interesting shade that has dried up so this is the last time it's going to be in my collection oh no 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 okay we're st we still got a little bit of life left okay um, and this is it right there. It's really, really nice, smooth khaki shade. I really, really like it. So these are all of my liquid shadows. Now let's move into my single shadow glitter shadow drawer. And in case you're wondering, I just went ahead and got rid of these three because these were three that I just didn't want and they were getting bad. They're all gonna just go in the trash. Okay, this is my single and glitter drawer you guys know i don't like glitter but if it's in these small containers i will keep it for the rainy day that i want glitter i also have my glitter liners in here 
I went ham for a little bit collecting these because I really did use a lot of them. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you guys everything. I don't really know. Okay, let's go with these. Okay, so I have four, let's move this I have four aligners from NYX. These are all from their glitter range. I really do like these. I actually prefer these over the Urban Decay glitter liners because you actually get more glitter applied in a quicker manner using these. I really do enjoy them. I haven't used them in quite a while, but that's just because I haven't been accenting my cut creases with glitter in a while. But when I do want to, I will definitely reach for these. So I'm definitely obviously keeping these. This is a really a collection video. That declutter was just abnormal. Then I have one liner from Fenty and this was like the cream to glitter if you like rub it collection and this one happens to be in later crater. I really did like this particular liner and this line. This is the only one I ended up ever picking up but I thought this was really creative and I in my opinion it works. I found that it worked um so yeah. These are all my single pot um Eyeshadows, I have these all because they're unique in some way or they're just very, very interesting. So I kept them. This is ColourPop's Let Me Pass. This is a beautiful, ruddy, bronzy shade. I'm sure that I have this somewhere in another palette or something but this is just really really pretty and I did not want to let this go by any means I thought this was just too pretty to declutter so I have kept this um I won't pretend and lie to you that I actually reach for these I really don't but you know you never know you never know this is from the Disney collaboration with ColourPop and this is just in the shade Under the Sea. And this was just a really, really pretty shade as well. This definitely is not as soft feeling as the other one, but this is a beautiful, beautiful, like greeny, shimmery situation. I just thought this was nice and I wanted to keep something from this line, this collaboration. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is the only product that I actually picked up randomly so I'm happy to have it. I have a couple of these MAC shadows. These are fantastic. I don't think they have them in their line anymore but these are their shiny pretty shadows and these I'm just going to swatch one or two of these. I'm not going to swatch them all. This one is limited edition. This is in Make a Wish and it is a glittery shadow but it's a beautiful duochrome. This is a purple to green duochrome and there is silver glitter in there. This collection was one of my favorite collections from MAC and this one happens to be in Glitz Please. I don't know if this is limited edition. I honestly just don't remember but I remember I had to pick it up when it became available and this once again just has that silver glitter and this just has the base being that burgundy i think that this is one of mac's best and hidden treasures and if i could possibly learn to actually depot these i probably will because these are just really nice and i wish i actually had them in my z palettes with the rest of my special shades I have two of Marc Jacobs C sequence, yeah, sequence shadows. These are really, really pretty. These are like the packed flaky situation. Um, let's wipe my hands off on my other hand. Um, it's really, really nice. I really, really enjoy this formula. It is a very, very smooth. You can blend this into your crease in a really nice way um, and into like a matte shade and it can just be a one shadow, really complex looking but very simple look. I did that for a sorority sister's birthday and everybody loved my makeup. So I love these, both of these shades um, and I really wish I got the like topaz flash or whatever that shade was because you know it just I really wish I had that shade because I think that's the shade that was like a neutral skin tone and I feel like it might have worked with blending more into my skin tone but it's okay. I have two of these shades from Enchanted Lustry and these are their I don't even know what they call them. What do they call them? 
I don't think they have the name, but I dropped this one. That's why it looks a hot toddy mess. So I'm going to swatch this one. It's easier. And it is a multi-chrome shadow. If I had the mind to, I would also depot these and put this in my multi-chrome collection palette. But, you know, the way my life is set up. I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. It isn't as overly shimmery and metallic as my other ones. It's definitely a hard, I would say, easy to see duochrome. I don't really see the third shade personally, but it is a nice smooth formula. Um, and I actually prefer this one. So let me actually just show you guys this one. I don't know if it's because I dropped it or if they're actually two different formulas, but you see how this one's a lot flakier and it's just, it. you can see that it's just going to be a lot better. And this is like literally flakes. So do keep that in mind, this one. And this one is in the shade Hyper Prism. And you see that? It's just, it is beautiful. It's definitely a flaky formula. Like I'm not gonna even pretend to hold you up on that, but it is so worth it when you put it on your eyes and you see it in person. In my opinion, it's just really, really worth it. And it's a strong gold, orange, red, or burgundy shift. So I like these two shades. Yeah. Then we have some single shadows. This one is from NARS. I honestly don't even remember how this came into my collection. Um, and this can be depotted. I don't know why I haven't done it because... I'm not gonna use it with it just sitting there in that, and it's not even that special. Wow, okay, well that, since I already started decluttering, that can just go. Then we have two Stila um, duos. This one is in Sapphire, and the other one is in Jade. These are just two of my like go-to shades that I will reach for. That's why I picked the two shades up. And what I like them for is this glittery side. Now it's not an actual glitter, it's more of a multi-chrome, not multi-chrome, I'm sorry. It's more of a metallic, in my opinion, with glitter in it. It's just really, really nice. There's definitely a base to it, which is why, which is why I keep it around. I hope you guys can see the glitter. They both have silver glitter in them, and the base is a strong blue and green base. I really, really like both of these, so these will stay. Wow, this was this has been interesting. I've been decluttering on accident. All right, so I do have some glitters in this pot. So I have these three glitters. These are from, I don't remember the brand. It was so long ago. These are the only three glitters that I kept. I accidentally bought a whole bunch of glitters. I thought they were pigments. They weren't. So yeah, I kept these. I thought in a pinch I might want to use these and I haven't yet, but you never know. So I'll keep them for now. I also got this MAC glitter. I got this to actually recreate a look and I really did enjoy that look. Um, so I will continue to keep these. These are really, really pretty. And then I have some loose pigments from various places. Oh, two more glitters. These are like craft glitters, so there, there's no need to really mention those. Okay, so I have a bunch of pigments from a bunch of different places. So I have two from Sydney Grays. I got these, what, two years ago or one year ago now in my Christmas in July purchase. Um, they're both pretty. I haven't used them yet, but I will keep them. Um, you never know. I might get into loose pigments later on in life. I have three from D... JD Glow, yeah, from JD Glow Cosmetics. My favorite, I must say, is this Mystique one, but they're really, really pretty. I will say when I apply them, they go on darker than they look in the pot. So that's the only reason why I haven't used them as much because I was actually aiming to use those as inner corner highlights, but they're too dark to do that. So take that with you will. I also have some flaky products. So this one is from Lorena Makeup. This one happens to be from Terra Moon and this one happens to be from Beauty Bar Baby. I've talked about these. I did do swatches of these in a multi-chrome video so I'm not going to talk too long about them. Really really pretty and this happens to be a gel from Kristen Lee Cosmetics. I really enjoy this gel. She did recently repackage her gels into like the old time 
lip gloss um, packaging. I personally am perfectly fine with this. I think it works beautifully. I don't have any problem with my gel um, drying out, but apparently other people did. So that's why she repackaged them. I have a bunch of other things from Kristen Lee. These are actually all from her and these are all pigments as well. Um, these two are samples, I'm pretty sure. No, this is actually a Duke a multi-chrome that I picked up. This is a sample um, and I don't actually remember how I got these three, but I used to purchase a lot from Kristen Lee. So she used to throw a whole bunch of stuff in my cart just willy-nilly. But these are all of the single shadow products. I actually ended up decluttering two of them, go figure. Um, some of these other ones may slowly leave my collection but for right now I'm happy and the last thing I had in this drawer which is my Inglot um what is this actually called make mixing liquid is that really the name no it's Duraline my Inglot Duraline I like to keep this in this drawer because it helps me to like revitalize these types of products especially like the ColourPop products so I will continue to keep this in here I need to reorganize this drawer really quickly and then we will go on to my two other sections that I wanted to talk about today Alrighty, next I have are my pot liners. So I have pot liners from a couple of different places and I just want to show you guys them really quickly. Okay, so I have three Silver Beauty Hydro Liners. I really, really like these Hydro Liners. They're my go-to when I want to do a colored liner in my crease that is not glittery. Otherwise, I'll use the products that I showed you guys from NYX. But these are the three that I go to hands down immediately when I want to do anything artistic or graphic in my looks. I do really still want to get the palettes, but I don't know if I can generally justify it because I do have these. The shades are different, <sighs> him and hawing. We'll see if I ever get to picking that up. I have two ColourPop liners still in my collection because they're still good, at least the last time I checked. This one happens to be in a purple and the shade is called Piggy Bank and this one happens to be in a pink and the shade is called Boots. I like both of them, they're good to go. I don't use them really in my waterline anymore because I don't find that they really stick, but I still think that they're good products nonetheless. I have two Inglot, um, what do they actually call these? gel liners these are fantastic if you want something to stick in your waterline for me these stick the only reason i don't have like the whole collection low key is because these are stupid expensive and i just i can't bring myself to buy too many of these you will see like this one is my older one and it has split but it's still good and it still works so I don't have a problem with it doing that um as long as it still works and i do still reach for these so yeah and then the last one that i have is the newest product in this collection and this is from kvd vegan beauty and this is in the shade royal purple this works okay it doesn't last nearly as long as the inglot does in my waterline but it does last so i will continue to keep it in this container plus i will reach for this when i want to do a purple brow on that occasion these will probably be the next sorry you can't see the ColourPop gel liners will probably be the next two that end up leaving my collection in this part just because I'm sure they will dry out soon. Um, but I'm positive that the other three gel liners will be good and then I will just stick to more of the water activated liners from here on out. Okay, so I have quite the collection when it comes to liners in general. Um, I am just gonna leave my lip liners till I do my video, which should be tomorrow coming up with all of my lip products. But these are all my eyeliner and eyeliner products. I use every last one of these in my waterline. Um, and if any of these products continue to stay unopened, I will just go ahead and declutter them. Um, the upcoming year. So these are my few liquid liners that are non-glitter. These are all working beautifully. I actually just looked at these yesterday or the day before and they all work really really nicely. I have two from Urban Decay, two from Wet n Wild, and this is from an indie brand. What brand is this? What does that say? Eccentric Cosmetics. I had another one but the other one, the the 
feather applicator or whatever it's called the pencil applicator it broke off so this is the only one i still have i actually like it it works beautifully so no problem there i like all of these shades they're all completely different um and so i will continue to keep them in my collection These are all of my pen liners. Now these are all very different in my opinion and they all do different things. I only have one black liner which currently is from one size. This is in Point Made Bodacious. I think this is a really nice black liner. Um, it's really, really nice in black. I find that it does stay in my waterline for a nice amount of time. It doesn't stay for ever. Like I won't say that this lasts for eight hours in my waterline but i have a pretty tough waterline so if something can last for like four hours you're doing your thing so i really do like this one um i have quite a bit from colourpop like most people colourpop is definitely not my most um used products i think a lot of these liners have slowly actually left my collection that were from Colourpop. Yeah, because these are the only two that I see. So one is in the shade Teaspoon, and then the other one in this is in the shade Puppy. Um, I like both of these, and I do use these pretty consistently, which is why I'm going to go ahead and keep these in my collection. This is from NYX. I feel like I have a couple from NYX. This is LA Girls. This is next. Okay, I think. Oh no, these are next. Oops. Okay, so I'm pretty sure these are all the NYX liners that I have. I have three of the faux whites and then two of, I think these, those are just the normal ones or maybe they're the faux blacks. I don't really know. I really like the formula. Definitely, once again, not the most long lasting. And on my complexion, a lot of these faux whites low key look the same, but I do still reach for them and I do still enjoy them. A couple of them still have the wrapping on them, which means I haven't actually used them yet. Um, and if I don't reach for them, very soon then I will go ahead and just declutter them and see if a friend wants them um, because you never know maybe a friend has been looking for something to um, that's light to widen, widen up the look of their eyes so yeah we'll see what happens with those then I think this is my most expensive liner and this is from what's the brand This is a Givenchy liner and this is in the shade Turquoise. I picked this up when I was an avid watcher of Tara Babies. I'm still subscribed, but I'm not as avid of a watcher for her hauls um, just because I've been trying to not purchase too much myself and I find after I watch her videos, I start shopping. This is something that she has gone through an obscene amount of pencils and she says work the best in her waterline. I find that this actually really does work really nicely in your waterline. Um, and this is one of my more longer lasting liners, but I just don't have the money to be spending on a Givenchy liner. I really, I just don't. Um, so yeah, I'm happy I have this. I'm happy I've tried the formula, but I doubt I will pick up another one just because it's too expensive. I think I only have one melt liner and once again this is another case of it's just too expensive. This is the melt liner in Baked. I picked this up after Makeup Struggles had recommended people to pick this up when they go down to five dollars. I think this one happened to be in five dollars and this was the only one that I thought I would actually get some use out of. Um, I have gotten quite a bit of use out of this. This is the one that I actually will reach to automatically if I want a nude in my waterline and this does actually last really long in your line but they're just too expensive. I just can't. I think their liners are like $20 each. I can't justify spending $20 on a liner. So this will probably be my only melt one because lately they haven't been dropping the liners down to $5. It's only been like seven and I want my $2 more for my discount. So yeah. This is my only black liquid liner and this is the Tac 2 liner from KVD Vegan Beauty. This is a really nice feather tip. I do not do felt tips. I, can't, I don't know how to work them. It just does not work out. 
If I want to do a cheaper one, I will use the NYX Epic Liner. I just happened to pick this up for whatever reason. I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, I really do like this one if I want a more expensive higher end formula and pencil. I have a couple Maybelline liners. They're all in different packaging because they're from different lines. Oh, this is another NYX one. I forgot about this one. This is actually a glitter one and this is in Azure. It's really nice actually. Um, I don't use this very often, but when I do, I actually really do enjoy it. Okay. So these are my three Maybelline ones. Um, they're really, really nice. This one is really, really nice. I like how small it is. It's the Precise Skinny. I have this in their brown shade. I really, really like this one. I like this one because it's different. It's like in a khaki matte shade. And this is in Jade Olive. And then this one is just unique. Um, it's just a unique, like silvery purple shade um i don't use this very often either but since because it's unique i do reach for it on occasion so i will go ahead and continue to keep it i have quite a few la girl um liners in different lines and i actually have some more coming to me yeah la girl is now the biggest brand i have an eyeliner i really do enjoy their neon liners i have four from their old range and i have i think three from their pastel range on their way to me i have this nude ultimate one um and i have a turquoise silvery one in that range and then i have a really cool like gold coppery eyeliner i really like their range i really like their formula this does last pretty well and i don't have to do too much to get these applied on my waterline so i will continue to pick up liners from this range every so often the only one that i have from the fenty line is in this one and this is in their her purple shade purple perpetrator that's the name of it i do like this one i know a lot of people rave about how this lasts in the waterline for me it doesn't last too too long this lasts i would say about four to five hours but i mean for me once again that's pretty good it's on a very rare occasion that i can find a liner formula that lasts in my eyes for the full eight hours so i do like this formula it is expensive though so i only picked that up because it was on sale this is one of my favorite liner formulas and i truly wish that this brand had more unique shades in this formula this is from kiko and this is from a limited collection i don't even know the collection but this is a fantastic formula this is one of the like i said longest lasting in my waterline i really wish that they came out with more i have two from linda hallberg i like these i am not in love with them i do reach for this red one a lot you wouldn't tell by how long it still is but i truly do reach for that one quite a bit and i reach for happy mood quite a bit as well um so i really do like her crayon liner situations um and i strictly use these only in my waterline although she says that you can use them all throughout your face okay and these are single one-offs so let's just talk about them all together i have an mua liner i honestly don't like this at all so this is just going to slide over here and go away this mac liner is okay it's nothing great but i honestly don't reach for it anymore we'll keep it just for a little bit and then we have this milk makeup liner i have it in like a very unique like this is another kind of unique shade it's like a light purpley silvery shade i hope you guys can see it you might not be able to um oh i can swatch it duh I did all the swatching earlier and now I'm just like, how can I get you guys to see it? Genius I am. There you go. So it's a really nice like duochrome shade, um, which is why I picked it up because it's so unique. Um, but because of that, I don't get to use it all that much so yeah that's my liner collection i tend to veer on cheaper liners um and i will continue to just build up this and get like more unique shades when i think it is interesting but i'm not too too pressed to 
extend that collection. So that's pretty much it. This is all of my liquid shadows, single pot eyeshadows, single pot liners and then my pencil liners. I hope this video was interesting. It didn't, I don't even think I did this last year, but I thought it would be interesting to throw this into the mix in case you are interested in what my collections are looking like. You guys did get a mini little declutter today, which is always nice. It's always nice to fluff off the excess and really get to what you truly are enjoying and what you truly do enjoy. Let me know if you guys want to see anything from any of these products. I don't mind doing a video of any sort um, for you all so that you guys can see it. Um, and that's pretty much it. I will see you guys tomorrow with I believe is going to be my lip product collection which I will be talking about my lipsticks, my lip liners, my liquid lipsticks, and my lip glosses. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always y'all, black lives do matter. Please remember to like and subscribe to this video. I would really really appreciate it. Do remember to wear a mask, stay safe, and talk to a friend. Make sure your friend is doing all right. Alrighty guys, see you in the next